Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth course. And in this video, we are going to go over compositing and green screen. Um, some of this stuff, if you've used Photoshop before, you know uh, some of this. But doing it in Premiere, it's a little bit different. So let's go over the uh, compositing and green screen. And the first thing we have to know is what are alpha channels? Alpha channels are part of your uh, either your image or your video that you can see through. It's uh, transparent and if you've used Photoshop you know what an alpha channel is because if I turn off this bottom layer this here this whole section with this grid here is transparent and what that means is if I put something behind it, you can see through where these titles are. So you can see they're above this layer. So if I put something behind it, you can see through these two layers and see what's on the bottom, which is just a white background. And that's what uh, alpha channels are. They're just part of your video you can see through. Now in Premiere, we don't have the uh, little checkerboard box. We we have a what's called a track mat, and that's something that you can uh, tell it where using white and black or even shades of gray where to be able to see through the image. Um, and there's also video alpha channels on say QuickTime movies that save where the part of the video is that's transparent and you can um, uh, then put it in front of other things and have it you'd be able to see through it so why do compositing well compositing um, that is taking two or more images and and blending them together to get a final image so if you want to have a picture of you standing in front of uh, the Swiss Alps, you get a picture of the Swiss Alps, you get a picture of you, you erase everything behind you, and you put the image behind you of the Swiss Alps. And then if you do it properly, it looks like you're standing in front of the Swiss Alps. That is what compositing is. It's taking two or more images and combining them to make a single image and preferably a believable single image. Uh, if you're doing it for, say, a kids television show it doesn't really have to be that that um, detailed they're not going to stop watching because part of your green screen shows up so uh, but it's usually used for say uh, to get the X-Men to one of the X-Men to jump through the air instead of launching your actor through the air you just put them in front of a green screen um, and then take out the green and replace it with whatever the background is that you want to have. So the first thing we're going to go, go over is using the opacity fixed effect. Now the fixed effect, let's go over to Premiere. And this project, the Steady, Steady Progress project, we have quite a few uh, things inside of this, of this uh, timeline. Let me go ahead, I'll select this tab, and then I will use the... Uh, grav key to maximize it full screen and then um, I will use the uh, backslash key so we can find a piece here that we want to have it partially see through now how about if we do this piece of video right here so I'll select that video I'll go back to uh, 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 just a tab here and we'll get this so we can see it on the on the screen here we'll go over to the effect controls and the second one here is the opacity now if we don't want um, keyframes on here we can just turn those off and that will affect the opacity of the entire um, clip through the entire clip so if we bring this down we can either do it here by clicking and dragging or we can move this down here and move that and um, it seems like 
I don't have anything else on there. So it should be going through and being almost clear. I don't know why it's it's not um oh here we go. Um it looks like it's I was putting it let me turn this one off. There we go. It was interacting with the uh with the uh, piece above it. So as you can see we can use the opacity to make it um see through uh, I've used opacity a lot if I want to um, fade out. I can change the opacity over time. But that's just how much you can see through the video. So if I bring this up and I put underneath it, let's say one of these jump backs. When we go through and change the opacity, we'll be able to see the jump back through it. Because it's it's partially hidden. It's partially back behind something else. Um, that also brings us to the blend mode. If we, if you've ever used Photoshop, you know what all of these blend modes are. If you want to make it darker, all of these in this section here are darker. All of these lighter, and all of these depend on uh, the two videos whether it makes it darker or lighter. And then you have some that are just straight mathematics, difference, exclusion, subtract and divide. And then you have some that only work on certain channels, like the hue, saturation, color, luminosity. And um, if you choose one of these other uh, blend modes, you can see that one uh, for the color. It's just affecting because you can just see a bare outline of her there. And if you change it to hue, you can kind of see her there. If you change it to hard light, you can see that it makes a much different um, type. It blows out the highlights and it makes the shadows really dark. Um, these blend modes are the exact same as what they are in Photoshop. They do the exact same thing except it goes through the entire video and it affects each frame of the video and not just a single still image.